it's staring at a jar, strawberry. Yeah, a strawberry monster. When it's folded up, it'll be a strawberry, just a friendly one. And then when you open it, it'll be a scary monster. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some? Paper and someone to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. Let's put our markers off to the side and first, we're gonna fold our paper. Let's start by taking the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge like this and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Then we're gonna take the top flap and line it up with the top edge and crease it down. There you go. Next, we can flip over our paper and repeat that last step. So we're gonna take the top flap, line it up with the top edge and crease it down. There you go, good job, Austin. Now we're gonna take that last fold and unfold it because it's just a guide fold. If it opens up like this, you can flip it around and then unfold it, flatten it out. There you go. And then we're gonna flip it back over and your paper should open like this. Does yours do that? Yeah. Nice. I have some red scratch paper that we'll put underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table. It doesn't need to be red and you don't have to use the scratch paper if you don't want to. We're using markers so it helps protect our table. Okay, let's first draw the shape of our strawberry. I'm gonna draw a big upside down U above the fold. So we're gonna start on the fold and we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna come up like this. Well, it's gonna be kind of a flat upside down U. See how there's kind of a flat right in the middle of the U shape. There you go, crossed and down. Oh, I like your shape, that's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of our strawberry. We're gonna start over here on the left and we're gonna start curving under like this. And then down here, we're not gonna have a point, a sharp point, we're gonna have kind of a rounded point. And then we're gonna come back up and connect on the right side. Nice job. Okay, let's now draw the stem up here on the top. We're gonna to draw a curve coming out to the right and we can draw another curve that matches that one right next to it and then connect those at the top. Okay, now let's draw the little leaves sticking out of our strawberry. I'm gonna draw another curve coming out this way and then curve back in. Uh, now it kind of looks like an apple. Yeah. We need to add more leaves. <laughs> Here we go, and connect. Then let's draw another one. I'm gonna draw it right next to it like this. We'll curve out and then back in. I'm gonna add a couple more on this side too. I add, yeah, maybe two. Oh, maybe one more little one over here. Now you could add um, another one over here. <laughs> you could add as many little leaves as you want. You could even add less. There you go. That looks really cool, Austin. Now it looks more like a strawberry. Next, let's draw the funny face to our strawberry. I'm gonna add eyes. I'm gonna draw a big circle over here on the left and also a big circle over here on the right. The one on the right's a little bit bigger just to make it crazier. <laughs> you can change your eyes if you want. You could add different eyes. Maybe your eyes are angry or you could draw one eye closed and one eye open. Or I could just draw one eye. Or you could draw one <laughs> eye right in the middle. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now let's draw. I'm gonna draw another circle inside each eye like this. I'm gonna draw smaller circles too for the highlights. I'm going kind of fast because you really could change your drawing any way you want. You don't have to draw exactly like me. I'm gonna draw the little highlights inside each eye. Oh, I'm gonna draw a little, maybe a little eyebrows too, and maybe another little eyebrow, or not eyebrow, but a little wrinkle under the eyes. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a straight line that goes underneath the fold. You can go back over it and draw the straight line on top of the fold too. And I'm also leaving a little space on each side of the strawberry so it doesn't connect all the way. Yeah, and I'm gonna add little cheek lines too. There we go. Oh, my strawberry doesn't look very friendly, but that's that's okay. You can, <laughs> you can make your strawberry look any way you want. 
Now we're ready to open up our folding surprise. We should have half the strawberry up here at the top and half down here at the bottom. I drew the mouth below the fold and also above the fold so that you could see it on top and bottom. This next part's really fun. We're gonna add all of the scary stuff inside of this folding surprise. So we wanna make sure that when we're drawing and adding these extra details, that we're adding them below this top fold and above the bottom guide fold. That way when it's closed up, it's hidden. Now let's add the really scary teeth. I'm gonna start up here at the top. I'm gonna to draw a big curve that comes out to the right. Oh, these are gonna be really scary teeth. And then a big curve that comes out to the left and then also to the right. And then I'm gonna connect these in between by drawing a zigzag line. Oh, really scary. Some of the teeth are gonna be kind of small and some of them are gonna be really big. And then right at the end, I'm gonna connect into this side tooth. <laughs> Those are awesome. I wish I drew my teeth that big. It kinda looks like a beard. <laughs> it does. Now let's draw the bottom teeth. I'm gonna start here and draw the same curve coming out to the right, or the left, I mean, and then another curve coming out to the right. There you go. Oh, I love your teeth. It's super scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, just oh, like how yeah. you're doing it, I'm gonna connect by adding zigzags and curves that come all the way across to the other side and then connect in. Oh, you're adding even more teeth. I'm gonna add more teeth too will behind these other teeth. Oh, that's really scary. I like that. Now you guys could add other things. Maybe you could add uh, small strawberries inside. Maybe this monster strawberry is eating smaller strawberries. That's sad. But, <laughs> sad and scary. Well, <laughs> oh, I really like the extra teeth. The next thing I want to add is a tongue. You could leave the tongue off if you don't have room. Your teeth are a lot closer or you could fit it in. I'm gonna draw an S curve that comes out like this and comes out over to the right. Oh yeah, it weaves in between the sharp teeth. And then I'm gonna start up here and draw a point at the end of the tongue and then curve around and back into the mouth. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna draw another little strawberry that's behind this tongue. You could leave this part off because you're really <laughs> running out of room. Yeah. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna draw two eyes and it's behind the tongue. So we're gonna just draw it like this. And then maybe it has little fingers hanging onto the, he's hiding behind the tongue. I'm gonna draw the little leaves too, sticking out. There we go. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the side of our strawberry's mouth. I'm gonna start by drawing the mouth. We're gonna connect from here all the way down. So this is the inside of the mouth. So it's really from this point, we're gonna imagine it coming down there and then connecting. We're gonna imagine it connecting to there. So really it's just a line in between the teeth. There you go. And then the same thing over here on this side. So right about there. I'm gonna do the same. My, the side of my mouth is going behind the tongue too, just like yours. And then we're gonna to connect to there. Okay, now let's draw the outside of the strawberry. I'm gonna connect the side of the strawberry coming down. Yours is gonna go all the way down to there. Imagine it going behind the teeth, coming down here. And then we're gonna connect, yeah, maybe right to the tooth right there. And then we'll draw a little line there too. There you go, and then connect it. Let's do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna to connect to the tooth, and then we'll imagine it going behind the teeth, behind the tongue, coming out, connecting to the teeth, and then to the bottom of the strawberry. Yeah, and then right there. Let's add a few more details on the side. Let's draw an arm. I'm gonna draw it coming out to the side like this and up. And then we can draw the sharp fingers. I'm gonna draw a curve coming down. 
Then we're gonna start at the end, draw the claw coming up like this. Oh, and then we could draw the inside of that hand. Then I'm gonna draw another claw right here. I'm gonna draw a little V shape inside the first claw. And then let's connect this back into the strawberry for the rest of the arm. Let's do another claw over here on the right side. I'm gonna have it coming out in the same spot, coming out and then bending up. Maybe it bends differently because the tongue is right there. And then I'm gonna draw that big upside down U for the claw coming down. Draw the claw coming back up. A little bump for the hand. And I'm gonna just connect the arm back into the strawberry. I'm gonna draw a V shape for the next claw. Oh, you added another one too. I'm gonna add a third claw and maybe another claw over on this side too, so it matches. We did it awesome, we finished drawing our strawberry monster. But we still need color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward this part, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your strawberry monsters. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our strawberry monsters. They turned out awesome. But let's show our art friends the inside. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I love your strawberry monsters so much. I added a few extra things like little strawberries and you could add as many different things as you want to your drawing. You could also leave it just like this. My favorite part of your monster is the one eye. That's super funny. <laughs> Thank you. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your strawberry monster. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to color your drawings and add extra things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Roar, I'm going to eat your strawberry. No! <laughs>